On this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using the general properties of Gibbs free energy. In this problem, you're going to be given a chemical reaction and you're going to be given the delta G value for that reaction. And then you're going to have three equations down here, three reactions that are derived from this provided equation. What you have to do is figure out what the relationship is between the provided equation and the reaction that's in the, the first part of the problem. It could be turned around backwards, or it could uh, have the stoichiometric coefficients changed or it could be a combination of both. In this first one that we're being asked about it looks like all that has happened here is the chemical reaction has been turned around. So we have two Fe2O3 on the left side instead of the right and our reactants on the right side uh, instead of on the left. When we turn a chemical reaction around the delta G value it just simply changes in sign. So instead of negative 148 eight point one hundred one thousand oh my gosh one thousand four hundred and eighty two this is positive one thousand four hundred and eighty two this is exactly the same as what we have done in the past with delta h Here's our next example. Um, we can see in this situation, the reactants are still the reactants and the product is still the product. So we haven't turned the equation around, but we have changed the stoichiometric coefficient for each one of these terms. They have been, it has been divided by four. So that means that we are going to take our delta G value and we are going to divide it by four. Negative 148.2 divided by four. Not changing the sign because we didn't turn the reaction around. 148.2 divided by 4. This gives us, rounded to the nearest kilojoule, 371. It's 370.5 on the calculator. And here's our last one. In our last one, we have again turned the reaction around. Our products are um, now reactants, and our reactants are now products. In addition to turning it around, we've also changed the stoichiometric coefficient. Everything has been multiplied by 2. So for this delta G value, we're going to change the sign from negative to positive. And since we multiplied all the stoichiometric coefficients by 2, we're going to do the same thing to our value of delta G. We'll multiply it by 2 as well. And this will give us a positive 2,964 kilojoules.